A bribe is a criminal act that is not meant to be known by others, but an underground operation. But bribes is like a ghost, it's untouchable, you never find it. Sports Minister Figi Lembalula has said the South African government and the local organizing committee did not pay a bribe in its bid to host the 2010 FIFA World Cup. He was speaking at a briefing at Safa House in Johannesburg on Wednesday, responding to allegations in which South Africa was fingered to be involved in a 10 million US dollar bribery scandal in order to host the tournament. It is alleged that we bribed. It's okay, that is an allegation, but to others it's stated as fact. But that particular bribe, which this 10 million was actually processed, it happened after, after the incident. We went to vote, we won the bid clean, but nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we are not on the defensive mode. Our responsibility is to explain this 10 million and why it was ex allocated. It never left wherever it left through suitcases. It left from a bank to a bank. The money intended for the local organizing committee as part of its operational budget was diverted to the Confederation of North, Central American and Caribbean Association football, headed by former FIFA official Jack Warner. The diversion of the 10 million came to light after a letter was leaked to the media. It revealed an instruction to FIFA by Malifi Oliphant, then president of SAFA, to divert the funds from the LOC's operational budget to CONCACAF. Mbalula's Director General Alec Muemi said the money was paid to a development project in the Caribbean through the Diaspora Legacy Program. In our case, it was a simply an issue of not attaching any condition uh, to the issue of our support. As we have declared and we have seen that we have since declared as early as when the decision by Cabinet to beat was made that this would be an African World Cup. So irrespective of whether we would get votes from Africa, or from CAF or CONCACAF, the money would have still gone anyway. So I don't think that uh, that is in, in doubt uh, from where the South African government is sitting. Mbalula did not name the South Africans allegedly implicated in the scandal, saying they should be afforded the opportunity to clear their names. So if the FBI names Alec or whoever as conspirator number 17 or 15, the jersey of Dr. Kumar, uh, it doesn't mean that that particular person is guilty. It means that the presumption of innocence applies, but no kangaroo court. Kangaroo court, it doesn't apply because you've got to interview the person, you've got to establish the facts, people must defend themselves. It's not like it is guilty as charged. He also added that he had no problem with the United States investigation into FIFA and allegations of corruption. We will not allow to be a collateral damage in the battles that are ensuing in the geopolitical space. We will stand for our sovereignty because collateral damage will never get it from us. We will stand up for what we actually believe in. If it is justice that is pursued, you are a friend. But if it is anything beyond that, you are not. The minister has called on the FBI to furnish the government with an indictment.